Next, we're going to scroll down a bit and underneath the Calculate eBay Selling Price section, underneath your Buy It Now Price formula, there is a section that's labeled Additional Formulas that Fire Up Depending on the Supplier. This is totally optional. Um, basically, how this works is any item in which you did not override the default formula, which we configured here under the Switch to Wizard View, for, Wizard View button, um, any items that are not overridden are using the default formula right here. So SKU Grid allows you to set up additional formulas based on the store. So for example, with Amazon, uh, Amazon started charging shipping for items under $49. If you want to add, let's just say $8 to every item under $49, that way it helps to cover you for shipping then there is a formula that can be applied to do that. So I have that example of that formula right here, and I will put that up on the screen as well as below this video for your reference. Uh, but basically how this formula reads is for items under $49. Now you cannot use 49 here. You have to go below $49 even. So, you know, 48.991 or something like that will work. Um, so you enter that number here, again here, and then the only other thing that you're changing, that number is, is again here, the only other thing you would be changing is this number at the end, that's the amount of dollars that you want added on to your selling price if the item is under whatever threshold you set. Now this formula can be applied to any supplier, it's not just for Amazon, you can apply it for any supplier as long as you just swap out the numbers. So I will paste this, this formula below the video. Another example of an additional formula is uh, with Overstock as an example. Overstock gives 5% cash back rewards um, into your Overstock account that you can use for future purchases. Um, in addition to that, they often have coupons for either 10 or 12%. Uh, that you can use to get off off of the initial price of the item. So with Overstock, I like to actually decrease the prices of my items by at least at a minimum the cash back that I'm going to get with Overstock, the cash back rewards. Um, but sometimes I go a little bit higher than that because I'm using coupons anyway. So since I get 5% cash back rewards, I usually use a 10 or 12% coupon. Therefore, I'm just using a number in the middle and taking off 8% of the vendor price off of my selling price. Okay, so I'll also put an example of this formula below this video. But in essence, it's a parentheses, a left parentheses, a minus sign, another left parentheses. Then you write vendor underscore price, the asterisk for multiplication, and then 0, 0.0 whatever you want that percentage to be, whatever you want the percentage to be. Uh, and then two right parentheses. That's it. You do not need to have any plus signs before any of these formulas because SKU Grid is automatically assuming that whatever is in these boxes is getting added on to the end of this formula here. Another example, uh, if you have a supplier in which if you, by default, if you don't charge tax, for example, at, by default, not if you don't charge tax, but if you don't account for tax in your selling price overall in your default formula, but you know that one particular supplier always charges tax, um, you can set up an additional formula to add on an extra percentage, whatever that percentage is, to the selling price of that item. So in this example, I have left parentheses, vendor underscore price plus vendor underscore shipping, a right parentheses, the asterisk sign, and then the percentage right here, 0 0.05. So basically, whatever the supplier cost is, their, their price plus their shipping, um, SKU Grid is going to add on another 5% onto this formula here. Okay, and to set these up, all you have to do is select the store from the drop down. You'll get another pop up here for the store, another box, and then you'll either type in or copy and paste the formula into the box and then save the settings. 
and that's how you do additional formulas. Now, please note, these formulas will only fire up if your item is using the default formula on SkewGrid. If your items are overridden or, yeah, basically if you overrode your items intentionally because you edited them and you gave that item its own formula, then these additional formulas would not apply. You would need to build in whatever you wanted to mark up or take off on that item into the fixed margin uh, when you override. So that's how that works. That's additional formulas and then you just click save settings.